In this new episode of the Internet of Things show, uh, Chris uh, Green actually came here to talk to us about the automatic device management, which is a new feature set in Azure IoT Hub. Hey, thanks for watching the IT show. Um, we will talk with Chris about uh, this uh, automatic device management. Uh, so this is something new, right, Chris? That's right. It's a new feature set we have in Azure IoT Hub that allows for automatic management of a large device fleet, addressing challenges that solution developers may see where they're trying to do long-term configuration settings across large fleets of devices. Okay, so we've been uh, talking a lot on the show about Azure IoT, IoT Hub, and the basic features. Uh, we talked about telemetry. We've been talking about device twin methods. Is this new feature set building on top of these uh, elements of these primitives? That's right. It's really meant as like a convenience layer on top of some of the primitives that we've already implemented in mm -hmm. Hub, specifically twins, which are a key primitive that allow for uh, synchronization of device state between the cloud and a device. Mm -hmm. uh, we also utilize our query language that allows for targeting for uh, various tasks that you may want to perform. So targeting a set of devices, right? That's right. So okay. you could write a query on the tags you've set on those twins okay. or even on some of the properties that they're reporting back, which is kind of oh. a dynamic way of assignment. So if you tag your devices with, for example, the location, their building location, the room location, for yeah. example, and then you have properties in there, That's you can right. actually say, hey, I want all the devices in building 43 that, that actually have this kind of property, right? Yeah, we've talked to a lot of customers who have implemented embedded devices that kind of self-report mm -hmm. some of the characteristics, and so it's a good way to pick up on those, those properties. Okay, so you're gonna show us some of that, right? How we do, are. How does that look like? Yeah, so uh, one of the capabilities of automatic device management is called automatic device configurations. Okay. So this is something that we've just added in a public preview to the Azure IoT Hub. Okay. And so the, the demo and scenario I'm going to show is I've got this large fleet of chiller machines in Washington State. Okay. I want to apply a bunch of common settings to those chillers for operating like the, the chiller water uh, temperature and pressure. Okay. And I want to be able to do that in a scalable way and mm -hmm. kind of monitor how that configuration has been applied, whether there's been any errors that may have happened when I applied that configuration. Okay. So I can do all of that through an automatic device configuration. Okay. And that's a typical scenario where uh, if you do that, if you were to do that before having this feature in IT Hub, you would have to code all the logic of, yeah. hey, here's that configuration applied and, and which devices do I yeah. apply them and so forth. Totally. Right? You'd either have to do it all custom or you might use a job, but even a job may be limited because it has a start and an end. And then what happens after the job finishes, mm -hmm. you may have changes to your device fleet and you have to manage all of that overhead yourself. So okay. we take care of all of that for you. Okay, show me, show all me. All right, so uh, the, the first thing I'll show you is we've got an existing configuration in IoT Hub mm -hmm. that is set kind of a baseline configuration for all of the chiller machines in Washington State. Okay. So where, where do I find that in the blade? So you're in the IoT Hub blade. That's right, yeah. So I gotta okay. scroll down a little bit here, but the automatic device management uh, section is new. Okay. Um, it also, by the way, encompasses IoT Edge deployments, mm -hmm. which is another similar capability meant to deploy modules to IoT Edge oh, okay. Uh, devices. Okay. Uh, so the configuration uh, that I've created already is really meant as a baseline. And so uh, some of the things just to immediately call out the targeting condition. So I've yep. specified that this is going to apply to all the device twins uh, that have a tag set to Washington State. Mm -hmm. uh, another couple of interesting things are the system and custom metrics. So these are really meant to allow uh, a developer or an, even an operator to uh, kind of monitor the progress of a configuration mm -hmm. rollout. Mm -hmm. So system metrics are all about uh, updating twins. So the okay. targeted, uh, that gives you the number of twins that are in scope for this configuration. Mm -hmm. And then the applied are the, the twins that have actually been updated with the configuration. Okay. The custom metrics uh, are really about um, you know, states that a device may report back to me in the, uh, through a twin into mm -hmm. the cloud. So in this case, my chiller machines uh, will report if you know, they're compliant. Uh, maybe they're, they've received the updated uh, configuration but haven't applied it locally. So that's mm -hmm. the pending mm -hmm. state. And then, of course, on the 
off chance that something goes wrong, I can see that an error may have happened. Got it. So I can even drill in from there. If, for example, just on the metric side, mm -hmm. if I want to see, you know, what devices are in a current state, uh, I can check it out through the uh, metrics tab. I can okay. hit view devices and get a more detailed list. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, so kind of helps for some of the troubleshooting that may uh, have to happen from then on. Nice. Okay, so you have this configuration. You have a set of devices attached to your IoT hub. Yep. These devices have tags. Some of them will be uh, location dot state equals something. That's right. And, and something magic is going to happen. That's right. So we, <laughs> we kind of go by this principle of um, eventual consistency. So our system is constantly evaluating this configuration mm -hmm. against changes in device twin population yeah. and applying that configuration appropriately. So okay. it, it just kind of handles it all for you. Got it. So if you have like a set of devices that are offline, at the moment you set up the configuration, next time they come online, yep. they're going to actually be addressed. You could even set up uh, device provisioning. So if as devices are provisioned in the mm -hmm. DPS service, mm -hmm. you just assign a tag to them, and as soon as they have that tag assigned, the configuration oh, will apply. Got it. Okay. Um, so we then we've got another uh, use case here where I've got a certain kind of special uh, model of a chiller machine that I want to apply different settings to. Okay. And so this highlights a couple of things. One is uh, the ability to um, tag or uh, assign a configuration based on the uh, reported properties instead of a tag. Okay. Um, so what this really shows is I can kind of specify a baseline configuration, I can apply another configuration on top of that, mm -hmm. and I can apply it based on how a re uh, device is reporting itself to mm. the system. So a much more kind of dynamic way yeah. uh, to apply these. So it could be a situation, an example could be like, tell me if I'm, I'm, I'm in the right place here. Uh, a device is reporting its temperature, mm -hmm. and you can set a rule that says, if temperature is above that level, then you have to apply that other configuration, which actually could be yeah, lowering the temperature or whatever, right? Exactly, yeah, kind of a way to define a prerequisite for the configuration. Okay. So I'll just show uh, the example of that, and that will walk us through the process of creating a new configuration. Okay. So I've got a, a bit of a cheat sheet here because you probably don't want to see me typing the whole time. Well, I would love to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would, well, you but probably not everyone else. <laughs> so we're going to call this uh, Chiller Settings 4000X. So okay. this is a configuration assigned just for uh, a specific model of my Chiller machine. Mm -hmm. So the next section talks about the, the device twin path and content. So this okay. is all about setting the desired properties within the twin across all the twins that are going to be updated. Okay. Uh, the path allows for kind of a, a sense of um, composition. So mm -hmm. for example, if I want to compose this with other types of configuration, they essentially can merge together. Mm -hmm. So the path specifies the section of the twin that I'm going to update. Okay. And then I'm going to set the, uh, the value or the content, and that's just an operation type that I want to specify. Got it. Uh, so next, we just have a set of metrics. So these are the metrics, the custom metrics I want to measure. And again, I'm just going to kind of do my cheat sheet here. But we have metrics for uh, pending. And this is just a query on device twin uh, reported properties. Okay. Uh, and then we've got another one for compliant. And we're just looking for a different state or status. And then error, which is, of course, the one I don't want to see. But <laughs> yes. well, you're a good guy, you're still putting it in there. That's right. Because if you don't put it in there, no one will see it, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. You know, ignorance is bliss sometimes. <laughs> so uh, target condition, that would be the reported property that we're looking for. So in this case, uh, through the device twin reported properties, the chiller is going to report the model type. And I only okay. care about the 4000X. Mm -hmm. I can also do kind of a sanity check just so to you, see. So you just like, um, what about priority up there? So oh, sorry. I sort of glossed over that one. Yeah, so you did. Priority, <laughs> priority is a way to essentially um, resolve any type of merge conflict. So if you have an overlap of two configurations, the device is in scope for both. Yep. Highest priority will win. So we've gone by a scheme of highest numerical value. Okay. Means highest priority. Okay, got it. Makes sense. Which is important. Which it is, is important, important scale, right? And in fact, this is a key kind of mm -hmm. value prop for this capability because in any sort of policy type product, conflicts inevitably occur and we created a way to handle them automatically. Nice. Love it. So then we finish, we get a preview of the configuration uh, 
document. Mm -hmm. Once we commit it to Hub, it immediately starts applying. Okay. Uh, it takes a few seconds for the metrics to update, but in the meantime, if I sort of browse through some of my simulated devices here, I can see the ones that have the model set to 4000X. Yeah. They've had the new configuration Got applied. It. Okay. So, yeah, Pretty we're really excited and the metrics will start trickling in. I love that. <laughs> so that's that's in preview right now. It's in preview right now. We've got it exposed in the Azure portal okay. uh, and the SDK. And you have documentation. We sure do. Awesome. We always do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. So that was uh, very instructive uh, about this new feature, um, automatic device configuration within the automatic device management. You got feature it. Set. Thanks, Chris. No problem.